uh, Senator Toomey. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the chairman brought up the uh, circumstances that occur occasionally where a pension risk transfer is uh, occurs. And my understanding is the nature of this, uh, what we're talking about here is when a company has a defined benefit uh, obligation to its retirees, uh, it can purchase an annuity essentially from an insurance company, which then uh, transfers the management of this uh, to an insurance company. Um, and as the chairman pointed out, in that scenario, it's my understanding that the uh, PBGC guarantee no longer applies. However, there are insurance funds. Uh, there are insurance uh, guarantee funds. And uh, so, Ms. Barane, would I be correct in assuming that the insurance guarantee funds in the various states uh, would be there as a back backstop to the ability of the insurance companies to honor their contractual obligation to make those payments? Yes, Senator, that is correct. And the transfer itself, uh, so after the transfer occurs, ERISA no longer applies, is my understanding, but the mechanism of the transfer itself is regulated by ERISA. Isn't that true? That is correct. We, uh, ERISA no longer applies to the entity that now bears the risk right. because what's really happened is that the pension fund is buying an insurance product right. in order to meet right. those obligations. So, so then it raises an interesting question. like. Um, in your experience, Ms. Bahrain, um, I, I would guess that you'd probably agree with me that insurance companies, especially like life insurance companies, have extensive experience in managing long-term liabilities. Like, that's what they do. <laughs> um, so the idea of whether they're in a good position to manage the long-term liabilities of, of a defined benefit pension plan suggests to me like they are likely to be very well suited for managing that task. Is that, your, is that your sense? I would agree. And I'd also point out that they're subject to rigorous financial reporting and oversight. Uh, and life insurance annuity contracts are protected by the state guarantee funds, which right. have themselves noted that insurance regulators hold life insurance companies to much stricter standards and more intensive oversight than are applied by pension regulations to the pension funds themselves. Right. Now, all those those rigorous regulation and supervision that you just alluded to, that doesn't go away if the insurance company happens to be owned by a private equity firm, does it? No, absolutely not. If anything, private equity funds tend to be subject to stricter regulation. Thank you. Um, Director Seitz, um, <clears throat> it's come to my attention that um, there is work being done on an internal briefing memorandum regarding private equity involvement in insurance. Um, and I, I'm not sure, you may be involved in that uh, uh, for the, um, the international. Uh, I'm going to, I lose track of my acronyms here. Um, but it's the, the IAIS. Is that true? Is there, is there such a, a memo being uh, in the works? No, with regard to the International Association of Insurance Supervisors, right, um, they have discussed the topic of, of private equity, including at its last year's annual conference. It was a, a panel discussion on that. And it is, um, I think, you know, I can't disclose the, the private com conversations at the IAS, but obviously it is one of the um, themes that we're seeing in the macro prudential work being done at the IAS. So are you involved in an effort to make recommendations to the IAIS regarding private equity's involvement in insurance? Um, as part of our work at, at the IAS, we're closely coordinating with the Federal Reserve, the yep. NEIC, and the U.S. states on a variety of issues, including work related to the capital standards and also regarding the holistic framework, um, which the NEIC is, is, is adopting. Okay, but you didn't answer my question. Are, are, you, are you personally involved in, in, a, in research or development of a memo or an analysis that will include uh, policy recommendations to the IAIS regarding private equity and insurance? You know, our teams are working closely with the NEIC in the states. You know, I'm a member of the executive committee, and there are a variety of topics that the IAS is discussing, and one of those topics at our upcoming meetings will be private equity. Yeah, so you're obviously trying to evade my question. I don't know why it's such a difficult question to answer. Um, let, me, let me try it a different way. If there is a memo or a piece of research work that is done and you're involved in it and it is submitted to the IAIS, uh, do you intend to share that with the committee? 
I, you know, I think similar to the IIS, we value the importance of transparency at the IIS, and we would work with our state and federal partners at the IIS to make sure that there is appropriate transparency. And this will be a topic um, that we'll likely include in our upcoming report to this committee that's issued with the Federal Reserve Board regarding our activities in international uh, supervisory forums. I see I'm out of time, Mr. Chairman.